Never before have I driven a car that feels so effortless getting up to speed. In fact, that was a big problem for me in the week I was driving this car, the new Cadillac CTS-V. It was so easy to let the speed get away from me. And I think that's because it gives you supercar numbers, 640 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, a top speed of 200 miles an hour. But from inside the cabin, it doesn't sound or feel anything like most supercars do. I mean, when I've driven the Dodge Viper, you know you're going fast from all the noise, all the vibrations, all the wailing sounds coming out of your exhaust pipe. But in the CTS-V, unless you roll the windows down, you don't really get a sense for just how insanely fast you're going. It's crazy. I mean, even if you're not trying to go fast, the speed can get away from you. And that's because Cadillac did such a good job making it feel stable at high speeds and keeping the noise and vibration out of the cabin. And the craziest thing is it's still got four doors. It's a sedan. You can put car seats in the back and still go 200 miles an hour. The closest thing I can think of to this car right now is the Dodge Charger Hellcat. It makes 707 horses, a little more than the Caddy but it doesn't feel anywhere near as sophisticated or luxurious or quiet. But it certainly did give me more of that sensation of speed than the CTS-V did. Some other notes of my test drive in the CTS-V? Well, it's super easy to lose grip to the rear wheels under acceleration, but the electronics do a good job keeping you pointed in the right direction. In fact, it might give you a little bit too much confidence at times. When you're parked at idle, you can see the heat rising up from the engine through the cooling vents on top of the hood. I thought that was really cool. It would give you the sense of just how much power this car makes from that engine. Now, I'm not so wild about Q, that's Cadillac's digital interface, but the voice recognition part of it worked pretty well when I'd tell it an address or use it to find a point of interest. It has a very, very nice cabin. It feels expensive, and it is. It starts around 84 grand, and my test car rang up at more than 96 grand. Yeah, that's lots of money, but if you want to rationalize it, well, it makes more power and it starts a lot less than the BMW M5 and the Mercedes E63 AMG. So if you've got the funds, you can tell your wife it's a bargain and the kids fit in it. I'm Derek Price, and that's what I think about the new CTS V.